EA just patched Madden 23, and I wanted to do a breakdown on what's different and uh, what we need to know. Specifically, wanted to talk a little bit about gameplay and the loot blitz, uh, and then also wanted to show you a couple of key key gameplay issues that are still in the game and also some that are improved. So um, EA is trying uh, as a general way to play Madden 23. It's going to be a more defensive game. It's going to be a game where, um, you know, bunch is not as effective. And I think that's going to be great for variety. So we're going to get into the video. If you want to learn my, um, all my eBooks, get all my stuff. I would make sure that you're in our Patreon. It's only $10. I will also say that anytime a patch comes out or anytime the game changes or we find new stuff, you, uh, our Patreon members get access to all those updates. So there'll be a major update dropping in the Patreon, hopefully by the end of the day. And then also there's going to be um, an update to our Blitzing ebook. Our Blitzing ebook, basically what we did was we tried to create a resource for you guys this year um, where you can go to any formation and pull out that Blitzing ebook and it shows you kind of several different ways that you can blitz out of that formation. So that will be updated as well today with the new patches to blocking. But without further ado, let's get into it. First thing I want to talk about is the loop blitz. So the loop blitz is still really, really effective um, if you don't do anything, okay? And that's kind of the key word. So I'm going to come out and play. You're going to see I'm going to just pinch my linebackers, contain, and then, you know, I could do whatever I want. And then what you'll see is this loop will uh, come in. Now, that time it actually didn't. That's one of the few times it's happened. Um, but it, it, it normally is going to come right around the edge. So if I'm standing, you know, about right here, you'll see loop comes around the right edge. There you go. So loop blitz is still really good. Now, Part of what makes this really, really good is because of the fact that they're on contains and running backs generally struggle to block contains. So you see here, here it is again, and you see I blocked my running back and I'm still getting blitzed and I'm still getting sacked and you see the pressure, right? Now you'll also still see that these glitchy disengages um, are also still in the game, right? You can still get these glitchy disengages to your defensive line. They're not as powerful as they were, but they are still there. Um, they are still there for sure. And again, we're just going to pinch these guys. This time I'm going to stand on this side. And you see we're getting crazy. See there, little instant sheds and stuff like that. Okay, really, really good. So, Cody, how do you pick up the blue blitz post-patch? I'm going to give you two ways. Easiest way is to slide your line away from your running back and block the running back. And what you'll see here is um, obviously I'm drifting in the pocket pretty significant. I don't want to do that. So let me just show you. Let me try to just jump on the offensive side here. So again, I'm going to just slide my line to the right. I would ID this guy uh, right here, but you're just going to step up. And as you see, we can at least pick up the blitz. Now we're getting shedded still, but we can pick up the blitz to make a read. So that's one of my ways to pick it up. Now, why do I like trips tied in? I got a whole ebook on trips tied in. I think trips tied in is really, really, really good this year. I think it just got a lot better actually um, with the latest update. But what you'll see from trips tied in is they have a lot of really good uh, play action plays. So what I'm going to do, same thing, I'm going to slide my line to the left, and I'm going to recall play action play, and what you see here is the play action blocking. Uh, does, for the most part, pick it up. Obviously, I'm not like too concerned about the routes on the field. You still want to have quick reads. They are still sitting five people at you, right? So you should still be able to get you know, a pass off here. Again, I want to ID that guy, and what you see, Blitz gets picked up, and now I can throw the ball to the outside. Okay, so that's a real simple. Just slide away from the back and block the running back. Or if you come out in a play action play, I will say, uh, I just noticed play action just in general just picks up pressure better. So just cancel play action. You see there, I didn't even have to slide. Obviously, I'm getting shedded, but you see my crosser is almost all the way across the field. Okay, so that's kind of part A um, of this. Now, I want to jump into another meta blitz, which is dollar three two six. Uh, so dollar three two six, really really good defense. And I want to show you something with that. So dollar fifty six spinner, just baseline and press. Man, this guy up here, and then they're going to use with this guy. It's basically the setup. What you'll see here is play action, no adjustments, just calling a play action play. And as you can see, um, we're getting the, the the shed, but we're we're picking the blitz up basically. So you know, just simply calling you know a play action play from what I find is really a great place to start with pass protection this year. And it makes these blitzes a lot less effective. So now, same kind of thing. It's a five-man blitz. I'm going to slide to the left, block my running back here, and you see we're able to get this picked up. Now, again, that guy on the left is just dis. I don't know if he's disengaging. I, th I think technically he might be. Um, but I honestly wouldn't worry too much about that because in Mutt, I just don't find that he's going to do that. Um, you know, 
you see here just a little better example and part of it is that it's again pocket presence of course is important but you see we're able to pick up the blitz now if i send five people out on a route let me show you this so this is the same blitz sending five out and not in a play action play you see we're getting a double edge still so the blitz is still really good at a dollar um so I have a 146 ebook as well. That covers 146, which I actually think is better than dollar. And there's going to be an update to the 146 ebook, wink, wink, that uh, you're going to want to see because I think it is one of the better blitzes in the game. Okay. Uh, another thing that I wanted to go over, uh, I just wanted to show this as a gameplay bug. I think this is so frustrating. I really like Big Nickel over G. There's one main issue with Big Nickel over G is that when the formation flips, watch the safeties here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I have to turn auto flip on. So on auto flip, auto flip is um, you know good for just making sure your formation aligns properly. So what you'll see is if I show blitz, you notice my safeties flip and their assignments stay the same. So unfortunately, this is still a bug in the game. Hopefully, you know this will get patched uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, there are workarounds with this, which we explain in our Big Nickel Over G ebook. With as good as the pressure is from Big Nickel Over G, I would really encourage you to. If you're going to run that defense, just learn the adjustment and you'll be fine. Um, it's not that big of a deal once you learn how to adjust out of it. But it is a bug, and EA does need to fix it, in my opinion. Okay, so moving forward, let's talk about Bunch. So uh, there was a patch to Bunch. Uh, basically, what you used to be able to do from Bunch is if you motioned out uh, a receiver on the right, typically a receiver, um, you motion this guy out, you could block your tight end. What you'll see is now I can't. You see that I can only put him on a hitch. I can't block my tight end. Okay, so that is now taken away. Uh, however, how can you block your tight end in bunch now? We do have a bunch ebook in our Patreon as well. The best way that I know is to. This was a tip from Gun Cluster years ago, but basically notice also when I motion my tight end, do you see what just happened? Now he, I can't motion him back. Isn't that something? So when I motion my tight end across in bunch now. I can't motion him to the tight end spot. I can only motion him to the slot, right? So I can no longer block my tight end and bunch, basically. This is going to mean that West Coast bunch is going to be much, much more important than it was. However, one thing you just saw I think is really important. If you max protect when you motion the tight end and then you max and then you motion him back, you'll see his assignment should change to a block. Now, I know that's not convenient, but it is a way that you can have the threat of max protecting out of bunch. So I'll show that again. So what I'm doing is I'm going to hit L1 up. I'm going to max protect. See how he's on a route when I motion him. He should. Uh, he's still on a route. We're going to max protect again. And when we motion him back, he blocks. Okay. So now I can motion any receiver in the formation. But again, the thing is, this takes a lot of time, right? And that's not something that is really, you know, perfect by any means. But that's if you really want to block your tight end, you can do that. Another thing you could do is whenever you motion him to the left, you just snap the ball real quick and he'll block. Do you see that? So I just snapped the ball real quick as soon as I motioned him and he was able to block. Okay, so those are a couple different ways that you can pick up pressure. You know, if you want to block your, um, this actually is a pretty good little setup here where you can just motion this guy in a step or two and he'll block off the edge for you. So that's another way that you could block. Uh, motion blocking is still really, 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 really important in this year's game. And again, that's kind of the patch to the tight end blocking um, out of this. That's pretty much it for me uh, on this. Honestly, that's pretty much the main thing that was uh, patched. Let me see if I can show you one other cool thing out of match coverage. So they said they patched basically C routes a little, not C routes, but um, solo receivers in match. So what you'll see here is the C route still absolutely whiffs against the match coverage. Unfortunately, I think that's absolutely insane that that gets that much separation. So again, it's just an outside quarter. I run a C route and he will just whiff every time and I have an over the top one play touchdown. How do I combat that defensively? I just put that guy in an outside third if I want to. Or another thing you can do is shade. Um, shading does actually affect your match. So you see here, actually he still absolutely destroyed him, uh, which is crazy. It's crazy how much separation he gets. But I will say against man coverage in general, you're going to have a little bit easier time beating it. So uh, let me jump over here to cover two man. And what you should see is C route, and you see that that route is going to be a little bit more consistent for man coverage, as are other routes. So 
you know, man coverage is going to get a little bit of a nerf, basically. Um, crosser, see how that crosser kind of gets into a soft spot, okay? So you can now, you know, really manipulate man coverage a lot better than you were able to. Uh, yet again, another reason why trips tied in for me is the move. I've been in trips all year. I've released other ebooks. I've released U trips and, and, and bunch, which I have ran. Uh, but my bread and butter is still trips tied in. I really like trips tied in a lot. Um, you know, this skinny post on the outside or this uh, C route to the solo receiver you'll see here. Um, you know, you can kind of pass lead that into a soft spot against that coverage. And then the other thing is, like if I'm in man, let me show you something else real quick. So if I run a skinny post, um, I will just show you this corner route. It's not a big deal. But you just see here that like all in all, like I'm not getting completely clean separation. I will also say like classic passing, like I'm on classic right now. A lot of people have been using freeform, which I'm not saying that you shouldn't use freeform. I'm just saying um, there are other options. And I'm not very good at freeform personally. But what you'll see with this here is classic pass leads. See how it's not that great? Um, you know, they're not terrible, though, I will say. Like, they're, they're not great, but they're, there's not like they're, they shouldn't. You shouldn't just say, like, well, we're never going to classic pass lead. But notice that Mike Evans is consist consistently beating this guy on the skinny post. This was not true yesterday okay um you know so your better receivers your receivers that have abilities um your receivers that have you know short out elite for example they're gonna light up they're gonna get better separation against man to man um you see that my two crappy receivers they didn't get very good separation so again it's back to ratings route running thresholds you want to have receivers over 86 route running in uh mutt but guys that's gonna do it for me for this video we got a ton of material coming tomorrow make sure you're in the patreon so you get all the updates 10 bucks to sign up. Thanks for watching. That is some gameplay footage for the new patch.